Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? So far, so good. How about you? <laughs> I am doing great. Very happy to be here. And for sure, great to have you on another class and another opportunity to learn. Thank you very much. How was your day? It was good. It was good. Okay, I, that's I very nice. The airport today. Oh, you went to the airport. How nice. Yeah. What did yeah. you do there? I went to pick up my sister and my nephew. Oh, so you have full house now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. It is yeah. very it is very nice when you have people coming back and, and you have all this feeling of being together again. That's very beautiful. Yeah. Practice your English with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where are, where are they from? Advice. Where are they from? They are from Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, yes. Very good site for English. Yeah. Yes, practice. Practice with them. Do they speak English? Only English? Um, yeah, one of them. Take advantage. <laughs> Approach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when you when you have the chance to practice with an American speaker, I mean, it's 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 a lot better because you actually have the chance to listen to the real English, right? When, yeah, exactly. Yes, the accent and everything. So it is it is pretty good, pretty useful. So take good good advantage of that. And what about the rest? What did you do? How was your day? What about the traffic of today? Oh, the traffic was terrible. <laughs> uh, I yeah. took three hours in order to arrive to my job. Oh my God. Three but, hours. <laughs> but the funny thing today, and sorry for the ones who have a motorcycle, was the, the motorcycles in the line. And I was like, <laughs> I thought that I was never going to see that. Todos en, la, en el carril. And I was like, hmm. They are beautiful. They look beautiful, I said. <laughs> yeah. In Los Chorros, there was like this huge line of motorcycles mm -hmm. because as they always go in the middle of the traffic, today was the different thing, right? It was very a very hard day for traffic. Yeah. But I am glad that most of you are here and that all of you are connecting. Remember to have your camera on. It is very important. Today, as we are covering class number eight, I am going to make sure. Yes. Uh, I am sick with connectivities. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Miguel. I'm very, very sorry for that. So, but keep, keep pendant because you are Good going to. Hello, Jesus. We're going to be uh, answering and participating. So, Miguel, you can be pendant of, of the answers. Okay. I am very Thank sorry you. for your illness. We're Thank going you. to be checking on the platform to see exercise, uh, the exercises of midterm to make sure that all of you have finished working on that, okay? And uh, some of you were asking about some answers and some exercises, so we are going to check it out. Don't worry. So that is going to be the first thing we're going to do today as uh, we need to be sure that you have already covered everything who has finished all the exams all the midterm exams yes me no? me. me okay who is missing to finish them a quien le falta todavía terminarlos me teacher. be honest me right? teacher. <laughs> okay that's good it is good it is good when you are honest and you say like no teacher i haven't finished but i will finish today because i need to to finish right so let's work on this and we're going to leave them uh, done today. In this part, right, we have a, yes, it's this one. We have section number three, right? Section number one and two, we finished them already, right? Se recuerdan que el, el viernes pasado hicimos las secciones uno y dos, las completamos todas. Hoy vamos a completar la tres y el midterm para que nos queden ya todas completas, okay? In section three, Yes. In my case, I don't today. Okay, you have to do this today. Very good. You're done. You finished? Right. No? 
Terminaste, no. Miguel. Ok. So you need to do that. Eh, you need to do this today. Si pueden ir a la par mía terminando lo que no han hecho, that would be perfect because you can finish it. Ok. Si de okay. repente todavía le falta algún ejercicio, pueden ir ahí junto conmigo, revisando y terminando. Revisando si lo han dejado todavía no con 100% y terminándolo pues si no lo hemos hecho. Ok. So let's move on business. Let's move on business here. And we are going to work on uh, the exercises of section number three. As you remember, okay, como pueden ver, terminamos la sección uno y dos en la revisión anterior. Hello, good evening. We are checking on the platform to see that we have finished everything. Okay, in section number three, you have here the one about the listening, right? You had a previous listening here about the different apartments. We were talking about yes about this yesterday. We were talking about the quantifiers, right? And we were yeah. talking that it's like enough, too much, too many, right? Too big, too small, right? We were talking about the comparisons in these cases. In this one, it says, according to the audio, right? I think that you have listened to it in 3.1, that it's right here, uh, that you have here on the on this video. It says, the apartments are too small for pets, are too big for pets, or are big enough for pets? What do you remember from the audio? Are too small for pets. They are too small for pets, right? You cannot have yeah. pets because apartments are very tiny, very small, right? Which one is correct? Which one is correct? Which of these sentences is correct? Apartments isn't comfortable enough for families. Apartments, plural. Apartments are too comfortable for families or apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. In the first two sentences, when you say apartments isn't, is not possible. Porque apartments es plural y tenemos is. Con los plurales ocupamos are. are. And in the second one, when you say apartments are too comfortable for families, son demasiado cómodos para las familias. It's like, I, I don't like it. It's too comfortable. No me gusta, no. demasiado cómodo. <laughs> it's yeah, not I possible, think. right? No. <laughs> it's like, if you say like, toma este, millón, toma este millón de dólares. I know, it's too much money. <laughs> no, it's not possible, right? Give me a amount of what's it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> no, thank you. Apartments, <laughs> apartments aren't comfortable enough for, no, families. for families. No son lo suficientemente cómodos for families, okay? Confortables, dice la gente, <laughs> but it's cómodos. No. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. So the best option in this one is the last one. Which one is correct? Apartments don't have privacy enough. Apartments don't have enough privacy. Uh, and apartments, apartments have privacy enough. Number three is totally not correct <laughs> because it is not a complete sentence. Apartments don't have privacy enough. Enough has to go before the noun in this case, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have enough privacy. That's the correct form. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough food. I don't have enough water, right? Enough is first. Which one is correct? Apartments don't have a space enough. Apartments don't have enough space. And apartments have a space enough. De acuerdo second. a lo que les acabo de explicar? Second one. The second one. Enough goes first. Okay, so yes. there you have the first exercise. And that's it. You don't have anything else here. On the next part, on the knowledge check of the, of the second one, we have extra sentences for us, for us to continue checking and it says which one do you think is correct in my opinion houses are as expensive apartments in my neighborhood important when we compare two things and you say these ones are as beautiful as these ones as as you need to have it balanced in these ones you only have Houses are as expensive apartments in my neighborhood. No tenemos la oración balanceada. We are missing as. In my opinion, houses are expensive as apartments in my neighbor. This is the same, but we only have in the second yeah. sentence. And the correct form in this one is, in my opinion, 
houses are just as expensive as, a par as apartments in my neighborhood. Son tan caras como un apartamento. Tan, tan, right? As, as. This is the best option in this case. We are comparing two things. And I can say, this cup is as beautiful as this bottle. Okay? Because it has a flirt. Okay. This cup is as beautiful as this bottle. We are comparing two things in the same level. Okay? As, as. No hay uno más arriba que el otro. As, as. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big his, is big as his, yeah, isn't as big as his. The big one. his. Okay. This. What are you comparing here? This. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms. La casa de mi vecino tiene cinco sí. cuartos, but my house isn't as big as his. Yes. Says, no es tan grande como la de mi vecino, right? No. Isn't as big as his. El uso de his, en este caso, nos referimos a your neighbor. I don't like to live in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses, don't have many rooms as houses, don't have as much rooms as houses. First one. The first one. Many is Many. for plurals. Much is for uncountables. Okay. So in this case, you have many rooms with S. My new house doesn't have. ¿Y qué dijimos que se ocupaba antes del noun? S. Uh, my new house doesn't have a space as, as my much. old house. Let's see. As much. As much. Okay, Spain. it says, my new house doesn't have as much space as my old house. Why do we use much? ¿Por qué ocupamos much it's in a many? Uncountable. Because it's uncountable. A space okay. is uncountable, right? Because you say, you don't say, right? You don't use spaces, mm -hmm. right? Spaces is for different options. It's not for this one. It doesn't have as much space. No tiene tanto espacio como mi antigua casa. Sí, that sure. was, yes? Eh, una pregunta. Eh, yo como me he ausentado eh, porque estoy enfermo, eh, entonces, eh, ¿por qué utilizamos el as? Ah, because you are comparing. You are comparing. Cuando usamos as es para comparar. I can I can use I will give you one sentence here. For example. Okay. Check it check on this one. And I have cars okay. and bikes. Vamos a ocupar cars and bikes. Vamos a hacer estas dos. Cars and bikes. And I am going to say, for example, cars are as dangerous Rigoroso. dangerous as bikes. Okay. In this case, in this case, we use a as and as to compare two things, right? Y va antes del adjetivo que estamos ocupando. Okay. Cars are as dangerous as bikes. In this one, ¿Cuál es el adjetivo que estábamos ocupando aquí? Are just as expensive as apartments. Expensive. Was expensive, right? The adjective was expensive. What about the next one? In this one, what is the adjective? As big as his. Big. Big. Doesn't have as many rooms as houses. Many. Many, right? Many. In this case, the, the, the word that we are using to compare is many. So that is the use of this one, to compare. And you use it between uh, with the adjective that you are using to compare. Miguel, did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay, teach. Thank, Thank you very much. Good. I love Miguel that he wrote enfermo next to his <laughs> video. The next one. We have here. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 
my drive. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. In this one, we have the different conversations here. And let's see if I reload it correctly. Okay, okay. Ah, it doesn't have it. Hmm. No me lo cargo. <laughs> está, de, está de resentida. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> let's see. In this one, what kind of wishes does Tori have? I think it, this one was the conversation, the one that didn't work. Oh. He wishes he had his own apartment. He wishes and, he had his own apartment. And that life was so, so difficult, difficult, right? Yeah. Let me see if it works on this one. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? <laughs> where else can I get free food, free uh, room and board, right? He wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. In this one, what kind of wishes does Brian have? Wishes he had a job. He wishes he had a job, right? He wishes he had a job. Rewrite the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Uh, the question two is in the three option. Laura wishes she could want some free time? No, the one option. The first one, right? Yes. Laura wishes she had some free time. Right? Sure. Yes? For the number two, I guess it's, it's the third one. Okay, yes. this one. He wishes. wishes he works somewhere else and lives somewhere more exciting. Yes. I don't have the audio for that one. I'm very sorry. He wishes he works somewhere else and lives somewhere more exciting. We're going to check it, okay? Laura mm -hmm. wishes she had some free time. Dan can't find, can fit into his old jeans. Ya no le queda. Dan can fit into his old jeans. Then the wish he could fit into the second one. Then yes. wishes, right? Then wishes, wishes then porque es tercera persona, wishes mm -hmm. he could fit into his old jeans. I wish I could. Yo desearía poder, but I can't. But you cannot do it, right? Yes. He wishes he worked somewhere else and live somewhere more exciting. Thank you very much, Edgar, for helping me because I didn't have the audio right now. And it was very, very good. Yeah, now, to, to answer that question, I had to listen again, uh, to watch again the, the video class. The video, yes. Yes, in the video was for sure. Here, on this one, these are the midterm exams, okay? These are the exams. So pay attention if you haven't finished. And it says, on the listening, listen to the conversation and check the correct answers. And this one is about used to and the past, right? The ones that we were using uh, in classes, using past tense. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. 
Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything. But now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay. Good okay. job. Yeah, good job, kids. <laughs> Tom grew up in? San Francisco. Sentence number two. Carol used to? According to Helen, there isn't there is enough, parking. There is enough, parking. There enough parking in their town. Anna can join a carpool by? Calling, calling a phone number. number. Calling a phone number. Very good job. Now, in this one, using the past tense, Sandra Leticia, what is the first option for us to complete this sentence? Where I was born in Mexico City. Where is your bro? Uh huh. Was you born? Where? Where was you born? Where was you? Hmm? Do you use was with you? Que usamos con you? Uh, just <laughs> where, where I, where, where, where you born? Where you were born? you born? Right? Remember with you, where? Uh, was okay, is where? with I, uh, you, he, and she. Okay. The next one, complete the conversations using the past tense and make sure not to use, uh, make sure to use capital letters when necessary. Did in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Did he study? Did French. he study French? French. French. I sorry. French in high school. No, he didn't. He studied French in uh, studied Spanish. I don't really remember if you had to write the complete sentence, but I will check it. And the next one. When from college, they graduated from college in 2010. When did, did they, they, they graduate, graduate. graduate from college? They graduated from college in 2010. Okay. So that was the option for the second exercise. What about the next one? The next one was about vocabulary. In this case, we are using vocabulary. And it says, every summer, Sam used to go to he with his friends. To the beach. beach. To the beach, yeah. right? Because you beach. cannot say, you cannot say he used to go to the paint or he used to go to the soccer ball. Mm -hmm. He used to go to the beach. beach because when you say i go to you using you're using a place i go to the church i go to the supermarket right i really enjoyed playing when i was a teenager yes 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 chess yes. cheese is the one that you eat with the beans right okay <laughs> chess <laughs> okay yes. chess okay cheese yes. El que se come, el quesito. Okay, a scrapbook, a scrapbook is not a sport. A scrapbook is un libro de recortes, right? Bicycle is not a sport, right? You cannot say playing bicycle. It's not possible. Playing chess. Ed had some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a... Snake. A snake. snake. Because snake. comic book is not an animal. 
And also, tree house is not an animal, a snake, including a snake. Very good job. What about the next one? In this one, you have to use use to. Remember that you only use it in past in the affirmative sentences. In the negatives and questions, the, you don't use it in uh, with the D at the end. It says, ah, play soccer when you were a child? Question did mark. Did, did you used to play? Did you, in, in the normal form, did you use yes. to? Did you use to play soccer when you were a child? The next one. Yes, I used to use yes, to. to play soccer every day after school. And what things used to collect? Used to collect. Did you used to use to, use to, to collect? Okay. We don't use the D because it's the normal form after the auxiliary. Oh, I never. In the past tense, I never collected. collected. I never collected anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcards, right? I never collected anything when I was a kid. Nunca coleccioné nada, right? I never collected anything. And there you go, right? You have your sentences correct. What about the next one? Hey, what happened to this one? I didn't click on submit. Okay, let me just. Okay. Let's go here. And it says word order. In this one, you have to unscramble the sentences. Jenny Elizabeth, can you help me with the first one? Um, okay, the answer is. Um... There should be fewer cars and less noise. The third one. There should be fewer cars and less noise. There should be. Deberían haber. Deberían haber menos carros y menos ruido. There should be fewer noise and less cars. It's not possible. Right? And in this one, there should be cars and less noise is not an option. Okay. Because less is for uncountables and cars is plural. And scramble the sentences and then choose the best way to write a sentence. And in this one, lanes should more we bicycles have. Edson, what option did you write here? Justo ayer hicimos esta misma oración. Yes. Sería <laughs> uh, we we should. We should. We should. Uh, have more bicycle lanes. Okay, very good. We should have more bicycle lanes. And the last one here, Joanna, can you help me with this one? Uh, there is too much air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Okay, there you go. There is too much air pollution. And there you have it, right? In these ones, you need to be very careful. En la plataforma siempre tienen que tener cuidado. La mayúscula, los espacios y los puntos. Important. Teacher, no me sirve. Maybe something is not correct. Maybe there is a period missing. There is a capital missing, right? You have to be very, very careful. On the next one, you have indirect questions. Yesterday, we were working on the conversation with these conversations. And it says, where is the nearest restaurant? Do you know Do you where, know where the nearest restaurant is? Do you nearest know where is. the nearest restaurant is? Right? You were using it. Lo usamos en la última conversación que hicimos. Do you know where the nearest restaurant is? The next one. How much do newspaper cost? Could you tell me how Could you much? Tell me how Could you tell me newspaper? how much do new papers cost? Right? Could you tell me how much cost new papers? Newspapers? Not possible. Could you tell me how much newspapers cost? Could you tell me how much do newspapers cost? 
or how much newspapers cost? Which I one? The the third one. It's the cost. third one because when you make the indirect form, you avoid the do. Okay, you don't use do. The next one. Where is the best bookstore in town? Okay. Do you know where is the best bookstore in, in town? Mm. Do you know where the best yeah, bookstore in the town one. is? Wow. Okay. ¿Con qué terminamos mm. la primera oración aquí? Is. is. With is, is right? Is. So in this one you say, do you is. know where the best bookstore in town is? is. Do you know where the best bookstore in town is? Correct. It's the second one, the correct the one. Correct. What time do the banks mm. close? Can you tell me what time the banks yeah. close? The first one. The it one. is. Can the you tell one. me? Can you tell me what time, what time the, banks the banks close? close? Okay. I send you a big picture today. Hoy les envío una foto así bien grandota. Yes. With examples <laughs> of indirect forms and uh, the normal questions, right? There you can find exactly these examples. So, and the last exam that we have for uh, this section of the midterm tests is the Segway. And for this one, we have a reading comprehension. In this one, we have four different questions. ¿Qué hacemos cuando tenemos un reading comprehension? Read the questions first. In this case, we have to investigate about Dean Kamen, right? Wants to own a Segway HT, doesn't think the Segway HT is energy efficient, invented the Segway. We have to look for that answer. The Segway I'm HT, super. don't tell me, we're going, we're going to read it. Don't worry. Ya lo vamos a leer. I'm super. The, the Segway HT is cheaper than buying a car, is harder than riding a motorcycle, has four wheels and runs on electricity, or we're going to check on the answer. The new, this new transportation device weights 100 to 200 pounds, recharges in four to six hours, goes 16 miles per hour. We're going to see. The Segway HT can go wherever people drive cars, can be used only on ice or could replace a bicycle. And here we have three, four different paragraphs, okay? Let me see. Vamos a ver a quién no ha escuchado esta noche. Chen, chen, chen. Jose Daniel, help me with the first paragraph. Dean Kamen. All this. Es el que me vale. Oh, oh. Now. Yes. Dean Kane is inventor. He is the developer. Developed. Developer. The subway. How many transportator? IT. A battery. Power. To electric transportation device with a price. Of dollar three nine thousand nine hundred ninety five. It costs less than a car. It's easier to ride than a motor play. It uses less space than a bicycle. Okay. In this one, listen to the pronunciation. And it says, Dean Kamen is an inventor. He and his team developed the Segway Human Transporter, the HT, a battery-powered two-wheeled electric transportation device. With a price of 3,995, it costs less than a car, is easier to ride than a motorcycle, and uses less space than a bicycle. Okay, the next part. The next paragraph is this one. Jancy Astrid, help me to read that one. Okay, teacher. And it is easier to operate a stand on the platform 
Let forward to move ahead, lean back to stop or move backward and twist the left handle, handle to turn. Very good. And it says, and it's easy to operate. Stand on the platform, right? Parate en la plataforma. Lean forward to move ahead. What is the meaning of lean forward? When you do this action, right? When you do this action, hacete para adelante. Inclínate hacia adelante, right? Lean forward to move ahead, lean back to stop, or move backward, or twist the left handle to turn. That is how you use it, right? You have to go forward or backward or twist the uh, left handle to turn. Thank you. Uh, Jancy, do we have questions in vocabulary right now? Tienen preguntas de vocabulario? Something that you don't know? No? Yes? Teacher, what's the meaning? Teacher. Yep. Teacher, ¿qué significa eh, to go faster? To go faster. Para ir más yes. rápido. Rápido. To ah, go okay. faster. Fast is rápido. Faster, más rápido. Más rápido. Okay, yeah. What meaning teacher back, backward? Backward. Para atrás. Uh, to go okay. backward. Forward, para adelante. Backward, para atrás. Any other one? Teacher, how the meaning lean? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Lean is, is recargarte. Lean forward, recargate hacia adelante. Lean backward, recargate hacia atrás. It's the meaning of lean. Okay, any other one? Device is an object, okay? A two-wheeled, tiene dos llantas, un objeto de dos llantas, right? Two-wheeled electrical device. Any other one? More questions? No? Should we continue? Alejandra? What is the meaning of auto? Which one? Auto, algo así. Although. Let although, me see. Uh, Where do you have? Ah, although, a pesar que. Although. Thank you. Although it can only hold one passenger, a pesar de que solo puede llevar un pasajero, right? Although. That's the meaning. Any other one? If not, we can continue reading. Here. I am going to ask Isabel, help me. Uh, the third one, no, it says one. to go faster. Ahí se uh, lo marqué. To go faster, lean forward a little more. Some people compare it to ice skating because it moves so quite quickly, quietly, and turns, quietly, and turns so so smoothly. Smoothly, right? smoothly, smoothly is suavemente. It turns smoothly, quietly silent right it doesn't make any noise the next one let's continue reading very good let's continue reading i am going to ask nidia help me with this one the segue the segue is she and um, waits the Thirty-two kilograms and seventy. Yes. Seventy pounds and can fit in the trunk of most cars. Fully charging the battery. Packs. Packs. For packs. Yeah. For for four to six hours allows you rise as many and uh, sixty. Kilometers. 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 For uh, 10, ten, for mile. ten miles. Very good job, right? The Sigway HT weights 32 kilograms. Aquí le falta la T. Weights 32 kilograms, 70 pounds. And can fit. Puede caber. Cabe perfectamente 
In the trunk of many cars. What is the trunk? El baúl. In the trunk of many cars. Fully charging the battery packs for four to six hours allows you to ride as many as 16 kilometers or 10 miles. With the full battery, it can go four hours. Puede funcionar? Cuatro uh, horas. Four seis, to, seis horas. From four to six. De cuatro a seis. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And you can go 16 kilometers. And the last part, we are going to go on this one, right? And I am going to ask, let me see. Jesus, can you help me? Although. Uh-huh. At the microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen. <laughs> there you go. Also, also, it can only hold one passenger. Passenger, passenger. One passenger. For 102 pounds, 200 pounds, the seed way um, HT is a great way to get around or do errands. In most cities, it can go where, wherever uh, people walk, jog, or ride bikes. Very good. Although it can hold only one passenger. 100 to 200 pounds. Si pesa más de 200 libras, sorry. You cannot do it. The Segway HT is a great way to get around and do errands. What is the meaning of errands? Uh, mandados. Hacer mandados. Exactly like that. Errands are mandados. mandados. The, in most of the cities, it can go wherever people walk. Right? So you can use it on the sidewalk. Lo puedes usar en la acera. So you can use it there. And what is the Segway HT? It is a very, very famous thing that you have seen on, let me show it to you. I will show it here. Okay. This is the Segway HT. Right? This is the one that we're talking about. Ese es ese objeto del que estamos hablando, you see? There you have it. That's what it is. It's like, um, how do you call these things? Like, uh, como una scooter. It's very similar, but it it helps you there standing. And the next one, the Segway is an environmentally friendly. And just give me one second. There. <laughs> the Segway is an environmentally friendly and energy efficient machine of the 21st century. Wouldn't it be fun to have one? ¿Le gustaría tener uno? Yes. 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 <laughs> to go <laughs> in traffic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> there you go. And so in this one, it, it says, Dean Kamen is an inventor. Wants inventor. to own one, doesn't think the Segway is energy efficient or invented the Segway HT. Inventing the Segway HT. Okay, HT. they develop the Segway HT. The Segway HT is cheaper than a car, is harder than riding a motorcycle, or has four wheels and runs with electricity. That one helps you. Than buying a car. Uh -huh. It's cheaper than buying a car. It's cheaper than it's a car because it says yes. it costs less than a car, right? It's cheaper than buying a car. This new transportation device weights 100 to 200 pounds, recharges in four to six hours, or goes 16 miles per hour. Recharges uh, for four to six, six hours. hours. Okay, so, it charges for four to six hours. Oops, okay. Uh, okay, goes 16 miles per hour. This and runs as 16 kilometers, 10 miles. Right, it's not that possible. And the Segway HT can go wherever people drive cars, can be used only on ice, or could replace a bicycle. Could replace, could a, could bicycle. replace a bicycle. It could replace a bicycle. Oh. Podría reemplazar una bicicleta. Imagine El Salvador with the Segway HT. We have the motorcycles, the cars, and the Segways. Yeah. 
in the middle of the street. That would be crazy, right? So this was the midterm test, right? It was not really, really complicated. It was in fact really easy to do. So please, if you haven't finished, do it, right? If you haven't finished, do this. And we are only missing unit uh, sections four, five, and the written exams, the final exams. Section four has only two evaluations, people. So you have to take advantage of this. Here you have only two evaluations, right? I don't have it right now because of my internet. I don't know what's going on, but you have it there. And in section five, okay? And in section five, you only have, let me see. Picture. Only one. Picture. Yes. The, the problem, the, the, this part, the, the chart, the document is a general pro problem. Oh, In really? Case, yes. Okay, so I am going to check it out. I am going to report it, okay? I am going to report this one because it is not working. Let me, uh, remind me about that tomorrow, okay? Section five only has one exam, okay? And then the final evaluations here and the final tests that are here, you have them that are many. In this one, you have three, six, eight, but this one will be a lot easier. These are, these are the only parts that we are missing, okay? So by now, for sure, I know that you have finished the midterm exams. Yes, uh, I think it's very clear. Let me call the attendance before I go on the explanation. Antes de que pase al tema que le voy a explicar un poquito más, let me call the attendance, okay? Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Let me just mark it, okay? Angélica. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here, teacher. Thank you. César Guadalupe. Here, teacher. I, I, thank you very much. I saw César raising his hand. The next one, hey, I go here, let me just move. I, I moved something, sorry. Let me continue. Cha -cha -cha. Edgar Abel. Here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo Jose. Here, teacher. Elvira. Miss Elvira. Elvira. No me oye. <laughs> okay, good. Ever Ernesto. Ever. ¿Qué hice? Me fue a vagar ahora. Isabo. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Reinita. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. It's me, teacher. So you'll be more present. Yeah, Elvira. I was like, Elvira, Elvira. And you didn't need to. Perdón. Jan Astrid. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Ya ven, así los cacho cuando se me van a vagar. Ah. <laughs> it's like, mamá, te habla la teacher. And then you run. That's why the camera is important. <laughs> I'm kidding, Elvira. Don't worry. Okay, my dear students. Let's keep on moving on here. Let's continue. And... I wanted to, okay, I wanted to work on this one for a moment. Here we go. In these last few minutes that we're going to have. 
this is what we're working and this is what I send you on the chat. I am going to, to check it out here. Let me just share it here with you. This is what I send you on the chat and this is the direct questions and the indirect questions. And it says, for example, here in the first one that we have, can you tell me what flavor this drink is? Right, the verb is at the end and the intonation of the question is important. What is the second indirect question that we have? Do you know? Do you know why Sarah is here yet? Do you know why Sarah isn't here yet? Right, do you know why Sarah isn't here yet? The next one, could you? Could you, you tell, tell me, the, you tell me whether, whether the film has started, has started yet? yet? Could you tell me whether the film has started yet? The next one, could you tell me? Could you tell me what the price of this car is? Could you tell me what the price of this car is? The next one. Could you tell me? Can you, can you tell me what time the train leaves? Can you tell me what time the train leaves? The next one. Do you know? Do you know, do you know how, how much, much, how much, much Peter earns? How much Peter earns? The next one. Do you know? Do you, do you know, know what the capital of Australia is? Have you any idea? Where I put my keys. Have you any idea where I put my keys? And the next one. Have you any idea? Have you any idea no, what ambitious means? Means, 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 means? And the last one. Can you tell me? Can you whether you this customer whether has credit facilities? Has credit facilities? Okay, can you tell me whether this customer has credit facilities, right? Es sujeto de crédito, sí o no? It's like, no, 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 don't give him anything. The idea of this one, it is a different way to ask the questions. It's more polite, right? It is different to say, what's the price of this car? Okay, casi llega con un bate y un palo cavernícola. What's the price of this car? No, right? Could you tell me what the price of this car is? It is polite, es más amable, right? Mm -hmm. What time does the train leave? Imagine that you are just standing, right? Imagínense que usted está paradito ahí en la parada de buses. Y llega alguien y le dice, ¿a qué hora se va el tren? Y dice, huh? hello, my friend, how are you? Right? Can you tell me what time the train leaves? Sería tan amable de decirme, me podría decir? So it's different, right? You are going to answer politely. And you say like, oh, for sure, I can do it, right? But if you just go like there, like, tell me, it's not good. How much does Peter earn? ¿Cuánto gana Peter? It's like, I don't know. Can you tell me? Or do you know? De repente, sabrás tú? Do you know how much Peter earned? Imagine if I go and say, Karen, what is the capital of, of Australia? Karen would be like, me, a teacher. <laughs> Do you know what the capital is? <laughs> uh -huh, you will say, excuse me? Really? Why are you talking to me like that? Do you know what the capital of Australia is? No, teacher, I don't know, but it's polite. <laughs> what is the capital of Australia? Sydney. Sydney, very good job. Where did I put my keys? Right, that's something that your mother would say, right? Las mamás si preguntaran así. ¿Dónde dejé la llave? Have you any idea where I put my keys? Have you any idea where I put my keys? Okay. Have you ever looked for your keys with the keys on your hand? Uh -huh. Have you ever looked for the keys with the keys on your hand? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I have, I have looked for my cell phone with the light of my cell phone. And you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, have you seen my phone? And I am lighting with my with the phone. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> or the glasses that you have them here, right? And you say, like, I don't know where I put my glasses. And you have them on, on top of your head. It happens, right? How would you change these sentences? How would you change these sentences? How much does newspaper cost? How much does newspaper cost? How will you make it indirect? 
Okay. Could you tell me how much the newspaper costs? Very good. Could you tell me how much the newspaper costs? Very good. Where is the nearest cash machine? Where is the nearest cash machine? Do you know? Do you know where, where the nearest cash machine is? Very good job. What time do the banks open? Could do you, you tell know what time do the, the banks open? open? Okay, Opens. do no, you don't use do. Do you uh do you know what time the banks open? Okay, do you know or could you tell me? Could you tell okay. Me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Right? Do you have any idea? And here you have that sentence. I have here another example. How often do the buses come? Can you tell, Can you tell me, me how, often how often do the, do the buses, buses come? come? How often do the buses come? Do you need to? Or do you know? How often the do the buses leave? leave? Uh -huh. So you say, could you tell me how often the buses Leave. Come, come, it's a leave. I come. <laughs> <laughs> where can where can you get a good hamburger? Do you know? Uh huh. Do you know where? Okay. Do you know where you can get? A good hamburger. hamburger. Where can you get a good hamburger here in El Salvador, people? Do you know where can I get a good hamburger here in, in this country? In Wendy's. In Wendy's. In Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. Okay. Well, we go to Pollo Campero. I have never tried them. How late do the nightclubs stay open? Do you know? Do you have any idea? How late the nightclubs stay open? Nightclub in English is a discotheque. Nightclub in Spanish is something different. Okay? <laughs> Just to make clear. So like, uy, la teacher está hablando de nightclubs. In, in the United States, a nightclub is a discotheque. Right? It's a place where you can go dancing. Right? But here, if you say, I'm going to go to the nightclub, it's another thing. Okay, <laughs> you do for other purposes. Questions, help me to read them. A normal sentence. What time does the duty free shop open? The intonation goes down. What time does the duty free shop open? What about the indirect form? Can you read the second one in the indirect form? The pronunciation goes up and it says, can you tell me what time the duty free shop opens? Goes up, read it with me. Can you tell me what time the duty free shop opens? Can you tell me what time the duty free shop opens? Very good. The normal question What time does the duty free shop open? What time does the duty free shop open? Can you tell me what time the duty free shop opens? Can you tell me what time the duty free shop opens? Very good. Where is the taxi stand? Where is the taxi stand? Do you know where the taxi stand is? Do you know where the taxi stand is? Very good. This one, normal question or, or indirect question? The first one. Normal. 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 Where is Adam Street? Where is Adam Street? Go with me. Where, where is, where is Adam, Adam, Street? Street. Adam Street? Could you tell me where Adam Street is? Could you, Could you tell, tell me, tell me where, where, Adam where Adam Street is? is? What time does the department store open? What, what time, time does the department, department store, store open? open? Do you know what time the department store opens? Do you, Do you know, know what time, time the department is open? Okay, that's different, right? Normal sentences, you go down on intonation. Indirect questions, you go up on intonation. Okay, well, my dear students, 
I am going to, this is a stock at the airport, right? You can use the reading. I'm going to give you an exercise on this on Monday, okay? And on time for a change, I need you please to investigate a little bit on adjectives, okay? Investigate a little bit of information on adjectives because we are going to use it for practicing the comparatives, okay? Investigate about adjectives for Monday in the Monday's class. Have a wonderful night, enjoy your weekend, and I am going to see you on Monday, same time, same place, okay? Practice, Monday, teacher. see you on Monday. Investigate about adjectives, okay? Adjectives and comparatives. That's what we are going to be using, adjectives and comparatives. Have a wonderful night, my dear class. See you on Monday. Good night, Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Good night, Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you.